voiceovers but yeah i feel like i haven't chatted with you guys really caught up with you guys we are still in lockdown by the way still in lockdown and i just feel like it's just gonna keep getting extended for us um from where i live currently so i have been really enjoying creating these art vlogs and just enjoying the process as well i'm still trying to figure out like my style and the direction i want to go towards with my art and being an artist. I actually have been really inspired. I got these jewelry pieces from Ana Luisa and I wanted to paint around the different jewelry pieces and just kind of emulate what I feel when I see these pieces and also just what I'm inspired by whenever I see them. I love that process of just like seeing something and being creative and then like throwing out your own creative spin to it and just diving into that work and that process. This video is in partnership with them. If you guys haven't heard of Ana Luisa, they are a sustainable NYC based jewelry brand and I am in love with their pieces. It's just very dainty, very minimal too. Um, and they have a lot of even really cute ethereal pieces as well. They are having a Valentine's Day special. Also like, you know, I've been treating myself out by the way so for Valentine's Day if you want to treat yourself out I do have a discount code which I'll like link up on the screen but yeah you don't need to rely on somebody to buy you something for Valentine's Day you can buy something for yourself treat yourself so these are the babies that I have chosen. I love every single one of them. The first one I got is the Boa Studs, so so edgy and cool. And then I got the Temple Green and the Cardi Set. They're both layered necklaces. And for today, I really was feeling the Temple Green set. I just kind of felt this like Victorian feel so I decided to wear that together with this outfit that's all thrifted by the way and I also wanted to pair this look up with the boa snake stud earrings my goodness I love wearing them they look really cool and especially I have a bunch of piercings so it adds to that like edgy look I was just really inspired by the green color especially with the square pendant it's like a really nice emerald green color so I was really feeling drawing this photo here in particular um, cottage core has been something that I have been really into I've been following a lot of Instagram accounts as well as a lot of pictures on Pinterest following a lot of cottage core esque fairy tale ethereal types of pictures and this one inspired me and I'm trying to get more into painting more nature pictures um, 
So I just kind of started off, you know, by sketching and then I worked my way into painting the window frame. Now, uh, in the photo, it was slightly slanted, kind of showing in a, a different angle. So I tried to mimic that, but um, I ended up switching it and making the picture appear front face then on an angle because I still got to work on my angles and learning like the technique so the window kind of does look a little crooked but that's okay we will fix that after Now, when I was painting just like the vines and the grass, I wasn't really sure what kind of direction I wanted to put this in because whenever I see a picture nowadays, I try not to recreate exactly how the photo looks. I sort of try to come up with my own little rendition to the picture. You know, it's really important to look at a picture, to use it for reference, but at the end of the day with art, it's important to add your own creative spin to it and I just kind of felt like there was so much yellow in the background I wanted to fill it up and add a lot of greenery kind of showcasing that the window is being covered by a bunch of like vines and flowers and plants and so I just kind of proceeded to uh, create these illusion of these leaves and I really like this brush that I was using I believe I got this one from yes style I like that it has more of a pointier tip and it makes it really easy for me to add leaves I find that this paintbrush gives that more of like a realistic look And then I just went on ahead and started painting in the windows. I was just trying to add a little bit more color as well just because everything else was so vibrant. I knew I needed to make the windows um, and make the curtains have like a blue like appearance and um, just add a bit of shadow work. Oh, and honestly, I love cottage core vibes. It's just, it makes me feel like I'm appreciating slow living a lot more and you know, it also makes me just want to like live in the countryside and make my own milk, not dairy milk, but non-dairy milk, <laughs> making my own homemade oat milk and having my own garden in my backyard, that kind of slow living kind of vibes. I feel like I'm still a bit of like a city person and a countryside, but not too countryside. But it is nice to live vicariously through these pictures and my gosh, if you guys have any other like cottagecore vibes or YouTube accounts, please send them my way. I just love how calming they are. So the next day I was really feeling the Cardi set and I am obsessed with this one as well. It just reminds me of my old bohemian days and if you guys are OG uh, subscribers, you guys will know that I had a huge bohemian phase and this is just pretty much paying tribute to that and I just love the combo between this circular pendant and then also this like it could be either a half crescent moon or a faux bone and I just thought it'd be really nice to wear it over a turtleneck because it is long enough I was really inspired by this specific set I kind of wanted to draw something really like astro astrological something maybe like within the space a lot of crescent moon and um, as I showed earlier this is my creative journal that um, I like to keep with me I like to fill it up from time to time and I picked that up in Paris and I just love just adding whatever I feel 
like creating into this creative journal. It's kind of like a scrapbook as well. I was just really inspired by these clouds and also like a more of a darker sky and I just wanted to draw a bunch of like stars and you know astrology has been such a really big part of my personal growth and my spiritual journey as well. I feel like there was so much that happened um, in 2020 that I couldn't really explain but as I got more into astrology I feel like it really has shaped me and for me to also like understand like my birth chart and it really gave me a sense of um, who I am as a person as well, which has definitely helped me out a lot and also, you know, even meditating and doing Reiki healing I think has helped me out as well healing through old trauma and old wounds I feel like astrology is such a wonderful and fascinating um, diverse topic to tap into um, but yeah, I am a Virgo rising and moon and my sun sign is a Libra so you can get a lot of a sense of that just by me telling you that I wanted to fill out the other side as well and I just was kind of feeling like scrapbooking adding these like different pictures and I love these sticker sets that I got uh, they're, they're all from YesStyle I will link them as well in my description box but I just love these ethereal goddess like women uh, stickers and I feel like that just kind of inspired me to scrapbook this and I just added a few quotes to the moon and back um, this is a quote from one of my friends song and yeah it's just that's just kind of what it is and, it, and I really like it I like the way that it turned out Right, so this is the next day as well. I was feeling very renaissance-y, so I wanted to wear the single chain. It's from the one of the sets, and I also wore the boa snake stud earrings. Um, I love them. I've been wearing them ever since I got them. I have just been really into the renaissance kind of vibe. Also, I watched Bridgerton last month and I finished that I finished the entire season in a weekend that's how much I love the show and I love the representation as well and it just has this really cool like ethereal Victorian Renaissance kind of vibe so I wanted to paint this picture I found on Pinterest it's not mine but it's like this beautiful like clouds and doves and it just kind of looks like heaven almost like with this with the picture and especially because I was painting on a wider set of a canvas it had a lot of space like background space so I wanted to fill it up a little bit more I did try to like redo the background a few times which you'll see but right now I'm just painting the dove the cute little doves I still need to <laughs> feel like I need to work on my on my dove painting but it's okay we're here to learn I feel like this picture is very calming because I just love the pastel like colors to this photo and it's just there's a sense of vulnerability with this picture as well which I really love with the doves and it just kind of reminded me of like angel wings as well I won't stay too focused on one area of the picture. I sometimes will go back and forth so I know what area needs to be filled in more so I could like look at the overall picture instead of like focusing on one area. As I mentioned before, I just kind of felt like the background was too vibrant. I kept changing it up a little bit uh, just to sort of see how it would look like. And that's the great thing about art and painting. You could always fix your mistakes at the end so no need to worry. I used to freak out a lot when I would mess up. I'd be like, oh my god, I messed up the entire painting. But then you could always go back and fix it. That's the great thing 
about it. And then they, I finished it off with some clouds, and that is the two gouache paintings that I did. And that is everything. Thank you so much to Anna Luisa for partnering today's video. Um, they are having a Valentine's Day sale, so if you guys want to treat yourself, they are doing 15% off. And I will leave their links in my description box. I feel like Valentine's Day can be a little overrated at certain times, especially if you are in a relationship or not. Either way, I hope you have a fabulous fabulous day and don't forget to treat yourself take care you guys love you bye